Pickaxe. Hello and welcome to Zero Degrees, the podcast with no qualifications where we try and solve your complications. I'm Ravs and today I'm joined by the same crew, Lids and Harry. Don't know why I, it was yeah, different. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> good. Hello, how you doing? You good? Yeah, I'm not bad. Well, a tiny hangover. A little, mm. a little smidge. A sprinkle. Like yeah, hundreds like one... of thousands. Just a little sprinkle of them on top of your Sunday dessert, which is your it's body. It's going to absolutely insane but like i feel like the only piece of my body that feels hungover is my right eye really that's weird yeah i think you're I, dying i, I, have, I like, think that means I ha- you're dying <laughs> I think maybe that's i might be bad. having a stroke i might die this <laughs> episode but like mm. i just have a, a, a centralized little migraine like here oh, oh that's baby. really annoying at my eye the rest of my my bod's like yeah it's fine you're fucking well, ready for- to go fortunately you don't yeah. need your eyes for this podcast so yeah you know, thankfully you know, I need to read yeah. the questions why didn't that complaining you know come on Ravs yeah. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you can do it you can do it um, I'll survive we, we got this we got this I feel like you know we need to explain we just recorded some trailers for Zero Degrees and they're slapped hopefully at the end of this the end of this podcast as a little extra yeah. treat a um, treat mm-hmm. Look, got it. Was, it had some weird energy. <laughs> if the energy from those trailers is carried into this podcast, it's going to be a weird and fun one. We'll Why arrested. am I come petro? <laughs> like, what, Won't make what any sense that? to you now, but trust me. What does that mean? mean? <laughs> what does it, that is, it matters. Mean? But yeah, this is this is going to be a hell of an episode. It's very, you know, it's going to be very emotionally charged. We're all mm-hmm. in mourning. Mm-hmm. Um, of course. Are we? Yeah, we are. And what better who, time... What, who, no, she's, who, no, it's mid-afternoon, Lydia. Who are we? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> ding, ding. And what better time to uh, celebrate and commemorate uh, the Queen than <laughs> answer <laughs> some of the most <laughs> rancid, disgusting questions yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Did anyone ever. send in a question? Like, <gasps> the Queen has died and I don't know what my God, to do. Oh, God. Do, do, do search. Search for the Queen. Ser- yeah, Where are you? There's a, there's a Queen question. Oh, no. The Queen. St- what is this? Oh, that's about the Queen starting a war. We've already answered that one. Um, the Queen? Oh, no. The Queen started a fucking war and you've been drafted. What creature do you oh, yeah, choose as your trusted one. mount? I was right. R- I was Rode Rab's mum into battle. That's the only queen related <laughs> thing we've had. <laughs> um, I guess it's also worth mentioning we we have set up a little Patreon. Um, it's, it's oh still, yeah, it's still a bit of a work in progress as we're finalising some bits. But um, mm-hmm. if you are enjoying the podcast um, and you do like listening to it um, and you want to support it, you can go over to there. Go over to patreoncom degrees. I think we got that. I think it's just that. That's pretty that's nice, good URL. Let's, let's, that? can, let's confirm that. Um, Patreon. No, you know, I like to just say so URLs zero. that I don't know if they leave. Have a the right place. Uh, co- co- oh, it works. Yeah, yeah that works. Nice. Oh, yeah, nice. How did we get that? There must be loads of things called I zero did degrees. pre-register a load of stuff ages ago, but I just kind of just kind of forgot. And then nice. like, let's, let's do it. We've been we've been brainstorming some ideas for the level uh, mm. the membership tiers. We've got a three pound, a five pound, and a ten pound tier. Yeah. We don't know. We've not finalised them yet, but we've got some we've cool got ideas, ideas. So yeah. keep your keep your eyes peeled. We even got one our first ever little piece. <laughs> <Yeah, sorry, laughs> don't worry, we've like, done the tears. There's nothing on there yet. <laughs> but shout out to Jensen. Thank Jensen, you, Jensen. Hell yeah, Jensen. Thank Patreon you. number one. Like I don't the OG. Even, I think me and Ralph mentioned it maybe in the lost episode that there might be a yeah. Patreon, and they must have like searched it and found. I don't know. I don't know how they got it. Well, but, we recorded that the last episode, aka the last episode that came out, like. As a like emergency survival bunker episode, where, <laughs> yeah. like, we thought it would come out in like ten years. <laughs> <laughs> so I, thought, I thought it would never come out. Never so see the light u- of day. It's kind of depressing that we had to use it like just two months after we recorded it. <laughs> We're so shit. <laughs> it's like yeah. let me save this for a rainy day. It's always yeah. raining. It's, it's always like, pissing it like, I guess we'll probably like have a Patreon by now. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. I like I like that optimism that we were like we'll still be doing this and we are <laughs> we are still doing this and it's going great it's been really enjoyable people have been yeah, loving it um, yeah feels really good mm, um, mm. so yeah go check out the Patreon if you want to there's no you know no onus but we might put some cool stuff behind those tiers um, so keep keep your eyes peeled yeah. and we'll, we'll tweet out and be sure to let you know when there's um when there's stuff going up there when when there's actual content yeah. on it yeah yeah exactly yeah. but there's actually a reason to to, to be a Patreon not just you want to exactly. support us, which is very nice. So thank you, Jensen. That's what all the other cool kids um, podcasts do, right? So, you know, why not us? Yeah. 
We are we're, we're followers, not trendsetters. Yeah, we're exactly. sheep. We're not wolves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Three little sheepies. Bah. <laughs> um, we had a silly idea before we started recording for how to get the questions today. I remembered that Ravs and I in the lost episode, we selected six questions and then used a random number generator to choose which ones we answered. And I thought that was quite funny. So today we're going to... Today we're going to... I've got the spreadsheet open with all 542, is it? Oh my 542 God. questions. That's so And many. we're just going to roll a random number generator. One and 542 and see what questions we land on. I love it. I'd, I love I'd it. love to clarify that though. About 134 of those are things like, I come shit, uh, <laughs> poopy on my balls, help. So this is going to be interesting. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be really interesting. There's a lot that we purposely haven't answered because yep. they're terrible. Yeah. Some of them are just the worst. Just I don't awful. Know what, I don't know what you guys are thinking, but Jesus. And we're probably going to hit a lot of those. You're awful people. But do remember, if you do want to send in mm. your questions for us to answer, you can do it at pickaxe.uk <laughs> slash zero degrees probably this man's and fighting also for his in life. the description of this podcast and also yog dot <laughs> help harry yog dot st slash zero degrees slash zd the link is everywhere that please, one please it's do, everywhere please do keep submitting questions we get, we get quite a few questions every week and honestly the more recent questions have been really really good quality yeah. so like shout out to everyone who's been sending yeah. them in you guys have got some stunning, great, You've been great funny questions. You can also find that in our, our stream chats as well, right? I'm pretty sure uh -huh. we all have a command for it. Yeah, I got it. Yes, you. yes. I don't know. If, I yep, do. I don't know. What are you signaling me oh, out? I, I do. Know, I like Lydia. I know what I mean. <laughs> I, Lydia, I'm just did, checking. Early, you I'm did, just checking. You did ask, do we have a Discord for zero <laughs> degrees? And I was like, we're 18 episodes in. I love the idea that we have a Discord and you don't know just about don't it. just don't know. <laughs> I don't so even good. know where I am half the time, all so right? I'm good. barely scraping by. You're All doing right. great. You're doing great. Let's right, dive are, in. Let's dive in. Thanks, baby. Let's, let's I'll do go it. first. I'll go first. Okay, I'm ra random number generating. All right. Number 40. It's an early one. It's a really Ooh, early one. Oh, okay. no, that doesn't board well. <laughs> number that doesn't 40. Well. Number 40 is how do you peel a pineapple? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, man? This is why this is why oh. we don't answer some of the earlier questions. We literally can't even answer that question. Can I roll again? No, That's no, the no, dumbest one. No, you one. have to. It's no, the you way have, the game the, works. The, 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 <sighs> it was fate that you rolled that question. How do you peel a... I don't know, mate. You can't even cut a carrot. <laughs> Oh, fuck off, all right? All right? Some Rams of us... is all over Lydia today. Oh, my God. Some of us have hand-eye coordination issues. And also, that knife is very blunt, so... You... Very fair, very fair. Does, 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 it, does it count as peeling? I wouldn't say it's peeling a pineapple. Like, it does have a, a skin, but you don't peel it. Like, you cut it off. Not... Yeah, you chop it off. It's not like an orange. Yeah. But I guess, like, when you peel potatoes, you do it with a utensil. Do you know what I mean? I always think about peeling being a thing you do with your hands like a banana or an orange. Mm, mm. But actually, when you peel a potato, you are peeling it with a thing. Peeler. A peeler. Yeah. Some, and you can peel with knives. So maybe it or does knife, count. Yeah. Maybe you do peel a pineapple. I'm going to... All so. right. Only Google can answer this question for us. But is there like a best way to like do it? Like, I don't eat pineapple that uh, well, often. I don't know if it's like Pepegi. You know those five minute craft videos and stuff? Yeah. And like those little cook cooksy videos and stuff. Yeah. All those little like internet trash mm. things. I always see people like scoring a pineapple and then they like rip it apart and it just like pops out into these little chunks i'm pretty sure like, that's a mango not a pineapple no so it might be a mango <laughs> yeah it's a mango, that a mango where you do I'm that i'm scottish man i don't know what it's, fruit it's, it's, it's hedgehog i think it's called is it hedgehog, hedgehog. It's, yeah I that sounds rude, that really, doesn't it? it's a really hedgehog inefficient thing. way to do it isn't it in my memory maybe like, it probably I think that's good, isn't it Oh, I don't Anything know. that's on those little internet cooking and craft videos are always bad ideas. So, oh my god, they'll be like the most fucking like. Um, here's a craft to save you some time, and it'll be like making the most convoluted like instrument out. You of need cement, and it's cement like why? Why does nuclear everything nuclear need cement? I saw, batteries. I saw one the other day, it was how to keep your valuables safe at the beach, and the guy pulled out of his bag a toilet seat, <laughs> covered it in glue. And then put sand on top of it so that he had like this little like <laughs> like li little lid that you could lift up and put all what his valuables in it, and it was buried fuck? in sand. I kind of love that actually. You know, I, you just walk down to the beach and see a guy walking in with his toilet seat. 
Yeah. Well, don't mind me. It's my valuables. You'll never find them. <laughs> but like, yeah, surely you go out, you put your phone in there and stuff. You go out into the water and then you come back. You're like, Where the fuck is my toilet? Uh, where's seat my toilet? Yeah, sand? the whole point uh, is it's camouflaged so no one can find it. Yeah. So how do you find it again? I, I love the idea of doing that on a British beach with just rocks there's stones. just rocks and stones just and you just got this stones. sandy sandy fucking Plus, toilet seat if you're like a thief at the beach and you're watching a guy putting glue on a toilet seat <laughs> cover it in sand and bury it <laughs> i don't it. think you should make it at the beach i feel like that yeah that bit of the video is wrong it should be should a pre-made be right. yeah yeah also you don't oh, need to God. glue the sand down you can just cover it in sand. i don't I know oh, yeah, it doesn't to glue make it? sense oh, i know to glue it <laughs> fuck's sake um, I, I, I feel like I just don't eat pineapple enough to really warrant answering this question. Like, pineapple's one of those weird fruits that, like, it's quite big. Do you know what I mean? It's a, not, it's it's a, a lot of boy. fruit. Mm. Like, it's like watermelon. I like watermelon and pineapple, but buying it, like, you either have to eat, like, basically pineapple for just, like, two days or have, like, lots of friends around to eat pineapple. But, like, you're <laughs> not coming to my fucking pie. house and I'm like, guys, I got this big pineapple <laughs> that I'm going to peel. <laughs> like, I, yeah, I only eat it if it's, like, you know, you buy it at the supermarket in pre-chopped up chunks. Yeah, you know, like the little, like little, the little like, container of pineapple. That does always feel bad though, because like some fruit literally comes with its own casing, and pineapple is one of them. And you're just yeah. literally chopping it to put it in another casing. In plastic, no in less. Plastic. Yeah, just that yeah. always like makes me feel bad. It's like I, people buy like sliced apple. Just buy yeah. it. Just apple eat it. Just eat the apple. apple. Like, just eat apple. It. Yeah. I am. Um, I have such a love hate relationship with pineapple. Like I love pineapple. At its own, and it's plain in its most simplistic, delicious fruitiness. But the second that shit touches my savory food, mm. I find it the most disgusting flavor. If it's on pizza, if it's in, if it's like those cheese sticks, if it's in like a stew or some kind of curry, or oh, it just becomes it's the most nice. vilest flavor. I hate it when it's mixed with savory. It's just like such a horrible surprise when you're eating something savory, like you know, you're eating like a. Chinese food or whatever. It's like, oh, oh it's just a fucking I hate chunk that. of pineapple. Yeah. Oh, that's the yeah, worst. It's, it's like sweet and sour. You get like chunks of pineapple. But, I but hate I get, that. I, I think it's, I get the idea of putting something sweet with something savory, but why does it have to be like this enormous, like mouthful chunk? Why it's is such it, like, a really, chunk, like, isn't it? Cut it up really small and let me like n- not really notice it's there. Mm. I just, oh, I don't. It's so now, obnoxious. I know that the people listening to this podcast right now are thinking, how are they going to make this fucking awful and weird? And don't ask me how oh, I know this. Oh, God. But I first remember the fact about pineapple. I know that fact. That it makes your cum taste better. Yeah, I know. Well, I mean, I don't know that fact. Um, as, as someone who doesn't I've regularly guzzle, pu- guzzle cum, I haven't confirmed that. Has anyone confirmed and that? And as here? someone who uh, does, I, let me I tell you. I personally don't know. <laughs> it's delicious. Uh, but apparently, is that real, pineapple, Lydia? it is well, real. Well, apparently. I think oh, it was. Oh, I think. I think it was in Sex in the City. I, for one, cannot hold my hand up high and say with clarity, but I've heard that fact before. The components of pineapple juice that help semen taste better its acidic pH level and very high sugar content, so it gives you a sweeter and less bitter tasting cum if you <laughs> eat a lot of pineapple. So I drink a lot of pineapple juice. Okay. I always Guzzling, thought that was boys. like an urban myth. I didn't believe that. But I think yeah. it's like, I think it's science, you know? It's probably like, <laughs> I think that's what Stephen Hawking was, was working on before he passed Stephen away. Like, I think it is science. I think he was doing science about cum. <laughs> about I think he was doing cum, cum. cum science. I <laughs> is, think Einstein first coined it, potentially. <laughs> I think Einstein concluded. was the first man to cum. I think that's true. <laughs> this is the, a sentence I'm reading on Google. It is concluded that the supplementation of semen extender with pineapple juice at a concentration of 15% mm. improved sperm mobility and membrane integrity. That, so it gives you strong cum as well. Oh my God. So it's more like you could stretch it out and make like... Oh, I guess. Like a, like a guess long if, string. It's weird oh, because like, I know pineapple has the enzyme that like breaks down protein in it. Like that's why when yeah. you, when you like eat acidic, pineapple, it feels it? weird in your mouth. Like it yeah. literally is dissolving your, your, like, your mouth. It's, yeah, super like you can, acidic. Like, you can marinate and like soften steaks with pineapple. Mm. It's really effective. But that to me is weird that then it would also make stuff stronger. I, that How doesn't make sense. Burning away your cum is what I want to know. <laughs> Don't <laughs> shove pineapple down down your urethra. Don't do that. That's not going to be. That's not how yeah, you make it taste good. It's not going to be a good time. Jesus. Also, don't don't just like assume it's an instant effect. Apparently, it takes a couple of days. 
Don't just so eat a pineapple. And, don't just eat a pineapple <laughs> and, and then, then drink your, your own cum and see if it works. Drink your nasty, salty cum. <laughs> but don't do it. See if it has immediate payoff. God, I feel like this question is baiting people to do horrible things that then will then be later questions. <laughs> oh, they're going to be like, <laughs> I tested it out with my partner. I, ate I shoved my dick in a pineapple, a pineapple for 10 <laughs> hours to make it taste like pineapple and it's rotted <laughs> off. Like, yes, you're an idiot. Get out. Like, Help streamers. I have a fucking pineapple <laughs> stuck in my urethra. For us. <laughs> That's oh, spiky God. as well. That would hurt. The little leafy bit sticking out. <laughs> That's it. You have to make sure to peel your pineapple first. Peel your pineapple before yeah. you insert up your urethra. Yeah. And oh. the lovely segue, you know, we, all with this podcast, I'm always amazed at how we always bring it back in such a mm-hmm. smooth fashion. So Google, smooth. Google has told me that yeah, it is, in fact, peeling a pineapple. It and is. you just you just cut the sides off. That's all you fucking do. You take a sharp knife and you cut the sides off. And That's kind of how I figured you'd do yeah. it. And I'm that's, sad there isn't a better way. That's just it, really. Yeah. That's it. That's disappointing. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Oh, bam. All right, next one. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. All right, I'll take this one, Harry, if you want to roll me. Yep. Number 273. 273. All right, I'm scrolling up, scrolling up. What do you got? 273, what I got, what I got. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Barry, Bidia, <laughs> Bavs, I need help. I'm a Danish bleb and I need to find transportation for 25 internationals, 15 of which I also need to find somewhere to sleep for one night after a week. Uh, what do I do? Also, they have a bonus question. What Wait, would a good two volunteer- questions. Yeah. That is illegal. What would, what would a good volunteer manage do? Bracket. Person who looks <laughs> after volunteers and makes sure they are happy. <laughs> Are you asking us to do your job? <laughs> Literally, this is... Also, I loved... This question is like four months old. It's like, like the there's no, end of May. Yeah, <laughs> these people have been and gone. These people are gone now. <laughs> this question is so old. They they, they don't have the proper the solution. <laughs> yeah. well, I don't even understand what the fucking question is. To I'm really friend. confused. Okay. This was on the 31st of May. All they right. asked us this. <laughs> so um, I need to find transportation for 25 internationals, 15 of which I also need to find someone to sleep for the week. Where? What do I do? What is this? I don't understand. Where to? It doesn't Where? make sense. Where? What transportation? I don't know what this question is. They're literally asking us to do their job for them. I don't understand. No, I'm not qualified. No details. We just have like, no details. I need to find transportation. Book a fucking bus. A yeah. bus? I <laughs> guess a coach. 25 people is a coach, right? It'd be a nightmare yeah. to get them on a you know, subway or underground or whatever. I, I assume them. they're volunteers, right? Like, Yeah. So he looks after the, the volunteers. volunteers, yeah. Maybe like a hostel and a bus, done? A hostel and a bus, I'm yeah. I'm mind-blowing that this is a question. I'm mind is fucking but mind-blowing. But also, this sounds like this is this person's job, and they're just straight up asking us, what do I do? How do I do it? What, um, yeah. what, what would a good volunteer manage, I guess manager do? What would a good volunteer <laughs> manager do? Person who looks after the volunteers, make sure they're happy. Um, I guess you like make sure everyone eats, I, has toilet breaks, has transportation, <laughs> and a place to stay. I really like that. Uh, that second question is completely answered within their own question of what do volunteers manage to do? The person who looks after volunteers and make sure they are happy is literally the answer to that question. <laughs> <laughs> Straight after the question. Um, well, apparently, according to Google, you will recruit, train, evaluate, maintain, and recognize a vital volunteer program to include interns, individual, and group volunteers to supplement staff resources. Okay. So if you can just do that, do, do um, a little bit of that, do that, I think everything's going to be okay. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, Lily, I don't think this person works as a volunteer manager anymore. Just judging by this question. I think they might have. Like, I'm worried about what's happened to what's these 25 happened? internationals. Are they, Google, are they gone? 25 people in de, in de, in Denmark. Are they <laughs> any recent like bus bus problems? 25 tourists still missing. <laughs> Mystery right. deepens. No, it looks it looks okay. It looks alright. Okay, okay. All right, you didn't f- screw up that bad, Bleb. But still, I'm what ho- the hell? I'm you hoping and praying that they're alive. Um, Thoughts and prayers. It- Thoughts and prayers with you, my friend. Thoughts yep. and prayers. Okay. Book a bus. Let's move on. Let's move on. <laughs> okay, next number for me, it's 55. Got another early one. Mm. Oh. Uh-oh. The early ones like, were either amazing or cursed, so good luck. Oh, my oh. God. <laughs> This question. Fuck, why the fuck I got have this? fun. Have fun uh, pronouncing any of this, uh, Harry. I 
I'm really struggling with this one. Can you guys help out, uh, <laughs> awkward face? Consider a coaxial cable with the radius of the inner conductor A, the inner radius of an outer conductor R, and a dielect material of relative permittivity uh, Z... Is that, which Greek letter of the alphabet is that? That's epsilon? That nice. Yeah, that one, Epsilon. Yeah. And a relative permittivity of... Um, fuck, which Greek letter <laughs> alphabet is that? Uh, Mu. It's like Between H, but upside down. <laughs> Compute the ca ca capa capa capacitance <laughs> C and self-inductance L of cable length per unit length. Find the speed of pro propagation of electromagnetic singles in the cable. Okay, so someone has sent in their engineering homework. <laughs> <laughs> with, with no numbers. So no. I don't... Was this the question that I wanted to... Um, I'm going to Google this like, entire this question. This this really complicated question, I swear when we saw this way back when we started the podcast, I was like, wouldn't it be funny if I just went away and learned the yeah. answer to this? Uh, oh my god, Ravs. If you, you learned the answer to this question, that would be amazing. Uh, I sadly haven't. Oh. <laughs> I, oh, I so wish I could have. I was about to try bullshit my way through that, but like I was like, mm, consider <laughs> the axis of the blah 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 blah. But no, no, I'm I'm clueless. I mean, you I'm googling bits of this. And I, 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 I mean, it's some some physics, some some weird oh. electrical physics. Do we know? I any think I've got it. I think I've worked people? it out. I've got my notepad in front of me. Um, so for me, I would say that the RG59 coaxial cable consists uh, of an inner conductor having a radius of 0 0.292 millimeters and an outer conductor having a radius of 1.855 millimeters and a polyethene, like a non-magnetic dielectric spacing material. Uh, so I estimate the inductance per length of RG59. So the solution for me is from the problem statement, A equals 0 0.292 m, uh, millimeters, B equals 1.855 millimeters. And since the space material is non-magnetic, from using the equation 7.142, I'll find Find that L equals three seven N H slash M. Brilliant. Next question. What? <laughs> just, what? A little, just just a little. What just happened? Just That's a little fine. Equation I worked it's out. Good. No, it's good. Yeah. It's, good. it's yeah. nice for you know Lydia to you know engage the brain sometimes. This yeah. is zero nice. degrees. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't mean we're stupid. Don't don't judge. Don't judge. That's true. Amazing, Lydia. Very Thank nice you. learning. Thank well you. Done. I was going to be like, have we got a phone a friend option? I was like, can we phone <laughs> Simon Clark or something? Like, he's a doctor. <laughs> no, Lydia smashed it. Right, Thank next you. question. Good solved. Job, solved. It's done. Holy it's crap. It's solved. Done. We did it. All right, let's next one. Uh, random number generator 388. Ooh, 388. Okay, oh, a bit more modern. Down. Okay. Oh. 388. Here we are. Oh. Okay. It's Wait. fucking so it's a it's a it's question, Ron. It's a question related to Ron, but I don't think it's from Ron. I'm gonna delete their name because they've added their name. Oh yeah. Can, no. That is an amazing name. Their name, name. <laughs> their name though. Their name. <laughs> I, maybe we have to read their name. Their name is pretty we fucking great. We have to read the name. <laughs> All right, Lydia, go for it. Um, I don't even know if this is a question. I think this is it's just like... It's not really a fucking... This is the problem no. with all these questions, Lydia. Is some of them just aren't questions. So it's just... It's, it's done two in a row as well. Okay. Oh my oh, God, wait, the Mormon wait, questions. Done, yeah, the one above me? it. Look at the... Yeah, two. Just <laughs> yeah. fucking read them both. Fuck it. Just read them okay. both. Okay. Okay. All right. Here we go. Former Mormon that left about 20 years ago, you actually do become celestialized and become gods and goddesses and get your own planets. You essentially get loads of wives, planets, and get to create your own worlds. That's fucking sick, man. That's Once you get sick. into the deep... Doc doctrine it is batshit insane you didn't get fake news the church just tries to distance themselves from the weird shit they had uh the uh, bom musical our book of mormon musical is very accurate and matt stone and trey parker do have a very deep understanding of the religion and its inner workings um then they go on to say Oh my God, the Mormon questions keep going. They are exactly right in that Mormons in Utah, Utah will get married super quick after their mission. I'm guessing this is uh, Brigham Young University where it is a regular occurrence where they shun people for free marital sex. They also are very homophobic and transphobic, not a good school and a lot of time, not good people. The Mormon church is very cult-like in the way that they control their members and their sexuality, as you discussed, and it is one of the many, many things that led me away from the church and religion in general. I've had a very similar situation and a friend who got married when I was going to Utah Valley University. Um, they had professed their love 
after two dates, got married at about four months later, then as usual around Utah, eventually got divorced. Weddings can be fun, but Mormon weddings are a drag. First Mormons are married in their temples, which are exclusive to all guests except active church going members. All the guests would essentially be going to the reception, which are usually in the local chapel, which are depressing and want to make you inhale any gas just to get out of it. No alcohol, no songs with any sort of language, jello with carrots in them, and just about every other sad thing you can think Ugh. of. Um, I hope he doesn't go to their wedding because it would be depressing. Ron is a bit of a dumbass and everyone sounds very young here. I don't think they are pregnant, but it is a possibility. More than likely, they just want to bang ASAP. It happens all the time in Utah and especially Provo, Utah. I'm interested in hearing about their, this relationship in about five years time when Ron reaches where Ron reaches out to Jay and the previous writer and apologizes as he just got divorced and his wife after they had five children and realized they didn't actually love each other. I will absolutely answer any more questions about Mormons though. Weird, weird shit. Um, and I just want to say this person's second name is H Higginbotham. Wait, what is that? Higginbotham. What is Higgin, it? Higgin, Higgin Higginbotham. 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 And their first name is also just like, I don't know if we it's, say the first name. It's, it's, like, like, a story, it's like a storybook yeah. name, you know? Yeah. It's like it would be a, someone in an Enid Blyton book. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Higginbotham. Wasn't Higginbotham? Yeah. Ex-Mormon advisor. Name. Thank you. That um, is just a wonderful amount of information about Mormonism. I do. That was just a letter. I just. I, really I read this one, but I was like, "There's no. We can't like just. Are we just going to read this out? I don't like. It's great information. I love it. It's so very informative. And now we've yeah, shared that with the viewers. Some people just be using the the submission form to just like write in their opinion of the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like it though. I like. I like that they feel that yeah. they can do that. You know. I, yeah. I did consider putting a um, character link for the submission, but no, people have really just abused that. <laughs> they really abused that fucking A4 yeah. pages of just writing. <laughs> but equally, it's nice to hear, you know, people... I like it being a two-way format. Do you know what I mean? Mm, mm. I, yeah. I feel like podcasting can be a lot us just shouting at you guys, which is great for us yeah, and great, great for cathartic. you guys. Yeah. But yeah. Um, it's nice for you guys to be able to write in and share your thoughts on, on subjects. So... Thank you. Thank I you, think, Mr. Higginbotham. Yeah, I thought this is particularly interesting. Also, for anyone that doesn't know what we're talking about, if you go back and listen to the Ron episode and then the Ron update episode, <laughs> uh, it's all about sort of uh, Mormonism and such. And we were debating whether some of it, because you, you hear things, about, you know, like apparently when they die, they, they're they told they get their own planet, etc. And then we had people saying to us, oh, no, that's not true. Like, it's that's just the Book of Mormon. But then, you know, we've got, uh, Higginbotham uh, telling us that I uh, know that is totally true and it is batshit insane. Um, uh, what I'm most upset about is at the wedding they're eating carrots and jelly. That, that sounds awful. That's grim. That's what like is those, that? Like, that's like one of those 80s things, though, right? Yeah. Or 70s, where like, you know, the, there would be cooking books that were like, make your family the gelatin salad, and it would be like oh, a jelly yeah. with grim stuff in it. Yeah. Carrots and jello with carrots. That sounds vile. Yeah. Uh, this was like a big 70s, 80s thing, right? Yeah, like jello, jelly with everything. Yeah. Uh, I really don't like jelly that much. Like, it's okay. Yeah. Like, jelly with some ice cream As and stuff. As a kid, is, like, it was like fun. exciting. But... As a kid, it was fucking banging. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but now I'm just like, oh, it's like weird. It's just a very, slimy. a very not cool texture. It's not like an yeah. adult, is it? It's not an adult food or flavor. I mean, like, oh, you can't really like age food, but like, it's just a weird, it's, you feel, as a 33 year old, I feel a bit weird just sitting there eating jelly. <laughs> like, I'm like, I'm just not supposed to be doing that anymore. Yeah. Yeah. It just doesn't. I'm a grown also, up now. I eat tiramisu. I like it, it doesn't excite me like it used to. As no. a kid, I was like, I want to eat the cubes before they go in the water. Like, you know, and I was like, yeah, yeah this is shit. Yeah. But now I'm just like. I don't care. <laughs> it's like a bit of shit, isn't it? Just like strawberry, weird, bouncy goo. Yeah. Um, but yeah, sorry, we went off tangent a little bit here. Thank you, Higginbottom, for the update. I, I think I just want to say your name just a minute. I just times. like saying it over and over again. Yeah. Um, I have learned so much more about Mormonism from doing this podcast than I ever knew or hoped or dreamed of. Like, I feel like I'm an expert now. Um, and yeah, I love that. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's great. Thank you. Thank you for the info. All right. One more. All right. Hit me up. Hit me up. Give me a, give me a rolly. Okay. <laughs> 58. Lots of early ones. Oh, 58. Wait, did, we just, did we do 58? No, we did 55 or something. Okay. 58. Uh, oh, my fucking God. Is this just a shout out for the Triforce it's podcast? Literally, it's literally <laughs> we can't read that. We, I won't. I won't uh, let that be read on this podcast. No. Sacrilege. This is, uh, okay. this is, no, absolutely not. I think it's fucking Perry or Lewis has written in, tries to fucking get us to uh, do an ad. Uh, no. Uh, 
this is this is definitely set in by it. like P flex. Don't read it. Nah, read it. Go for it. Okay. There's a podcast I really enjoy featuring two dads and a Lebanese boy. The problem is, I can't stop listening to it. All rival podcasts seem rubbish by comparison, especially if they come from other members of the Yogs cast, and especially if the people on it are Scottish or very tall. Liddy is great, though. Oh, I love this, this one. Fucking no, this is I love terrible, this. This is, this a, is a great question. Worst question, question we've ever asked. That's not even really a good. question mark. There's, There's not, not even a, a question to it. It's just their thoughts on the no, podcast. I'm really enjoying this. That's a great fucking question. That is. That's, That's good. Great. Good. Uh, good right, question. Rolling again, Rouse. <laughs> do you want to get a different one? Yeah. Give me. Give me something else. <laughs> we just rolled give three, three, three six. Did we not just have that as well? Is it? Is it just? Kidding? Three, three, six. Three, no, we three, didn't. Six. We didn't. Oh, it's like similar, very close to what we we're doing. Okay. Yeah. Oh, here we go. This one, that sounds quite uh, interesting. Three, three, six. Okay. <laughs> okay, Jesus. Of course. All right. I just listened to the piss and other bo- uh, bodily fluids episode and the discussion about which way you should face while sitting on the toilet. I recently moved from the UK to a fairly old apartment building in Germany. And the hole in the toilet is at the front and not the back of the toilet bowl. So my question is, the toilets used to be all designed to face the wall while sitting, um, but were then reversed when companies realised that no one did this? Or is the opposite true and we should all be facing the wall on modern toilets? I, You know what? I'm a strong believer in you should be straddling the toilet in a backwards fashion to what people normally sit. But I yeah, because then you get a little table. <laughs> but I don't. Yeah, sit. You get to have a little snack on your oh, table. Oh, you have your lunch. Yeah, exactly. But I don't. I'm not. I'm not a practicer. I don't practice what I pre. I'm not. I'm not a practicer. Either. I believe it. I believe it's the optimal way to toilet. But I just don't do it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think I've worked this out. I okay. think. I, right. I think I've worked this out. I do agree with you, Harry. Absolutely. Power stance. Yeah. Um. But with this, they're saying that the hole in the toilet is at the front and not the back. So immediately yeah, I thought, well, weird. how the fuck does that work? Like the, a hole is a hole. Any hole is a goal, right? It's just there. Uh-huh. Um, I've l- had a little Google and uh-huh. what this reader, uh, listener is telling, talking about <laughs> is a, is a, <laughs> <What the fuck? laughs> is a, is a poop tray. It's an examination plate. I'm going to send a picture in so you can see what I'm okay. talking about. Um, Don't post it in Discord or Sam, the editor. <laughs> he's going to get Oh, <laughs> he's going to love it. Really he's going to love it. I'll just send in... Oh, where are we? Where am Google, I? Google Weeds we can send in there. Uh, here we go. So this is just the general search, but you can see it quite quickly. So there's that little tiny hole oh, at the front. That little tiny hole front? at the front. And then that like long shelf it's a poop shelf essentially what the fuck is the examination so i'm pretty sure this is is... so you can check your shit exactly so this is quite a common thing i think in places in europe i know that they have it in uh amsterdam so because it's you know you can see changes in your movements uh which can notify you about health issues uh certain countries have it so you can just fucking take a look at what's going on in there before you get rid of it isn't that both uh, a great idea and violently disgusting? Just the idea of just grim. staring at your shit I mean, as just, it's just there. Just for the mechanics of it, are you just looking or are you like interacting? Um, I think you're just looking, Harry, but if you want to interact with it, <laughs> like, no one can so, stop you. Is there a utensil for interacting or is it like... Oh, God. Yeah, I mean, you, don't you have a poop knife, A poop Harry? knife, just to cut it off and like, have a look. I oh imagine you just God. look at it... But um, what a I, sad, what a sad moment in your life where you finish pooing and you just start, you stand and look at your poo on its poof shelf. <laughs> like, what? I mean, but I, but I think it is like life saving. It's vile and disgusting, and and it must get covered in fucking. Um, oh my god! You must have streaks. to scrub the. Yeah, fuck can out you of imagine? That? It must get fucking what rancid. What have violent, violent nasty diarrhea? Intolerant fucking oh, diarrhea god. oh my god it's making me feel just, sick it would just fill up yeah. wouldn't it it would be disgusting yeah. but life-saving uh i actually feel like quite sick right now um 
<laughs> but yeah, I think this is what the person is referring to. So rather than you can see if you were to face the wall with this toilet and shit, it would go straight into the <laughs> hole. But actually, that's not what the, the toilet is designed for. This toilet is designed no, to look your shit your, in the eye. How dare you? You're meant to, yeah, you're to stare at the shit, not let it escape. Also, <laughs> this is like, it takes away quite a bit of the toilet. Like This looks really high up. Mm. Like uh, from the images I'm looking at, um, yeah, like, what American what toilets you... have that? Their to- their toilet water sits so high. Oh my god, you feel like you're fucking drowning I hate when you it. sit down yeah. for a piss. Yeah, it's yeah. awful. But like, if with the shelf, like, what if you have to take like a fucking massive shit, like one of those ones that just stays attached, <laughs> oh like a baby's you know I mean? arm? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like one of the ones that like refuses to settle. What if you shit so much you filled the plate? Yeah, oh exactly. My God. Yeah, what like, if, does oh. it start fucking like piling up and then you feel it touch your ass? Like, <laughs> what is that? Absolutely horrific. Do you have to like stand up? I <laughs> weirdly think this is grosser than the poo and the this foreskin. Is, oh thing. my this God, is this is actually actually grossing me out more. I can feel my <laughs> breaded chicken from my lunch coming up. I, f- I hate oh. it. I feel sick. I hate it. I, I hate it. Oh. I actually hate just it. Just the thought of Ravs is just mountain of <laughs> shit. Just like him being <laughs> engulfed in it and just drowning in it. The plate's not big enough. The plate's not big enough. Get the shovel. <laughs> <laughs> I need an iPhone fork. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh no! Always clean your plate. Is what my mum said. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Rancid little bastard. <laughs> I hate that it's called a plate even more I hate now. Just the fact that it's called a plate and a shelf. I sh- first shelf. Shelf. Poop shelf. I like it because like it's like you're putting your poo yeah. on a shelf. Uh, and also it must make it really stinky, right? It's just sitting there at the top. But like at least if it's going into the water, it's maybe like helping eliminate the smell a bit. But if it's just sitting there, it must fucking stink. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> God, you know, like some oh. wanky German restaurant probably serves food like on on those as well. <laughs> what, Just like so, one of those like gastro pubs yeah. sells it on a yeah. poop shelf. <laughs> Just so that you yeah. can imagine what it looks like. Uh, it's- Oh There's a God. video on YouTube of someone showing off their pros and cons of a German <gasps> Oh toilet. my God, I thought that was an actual <laughs> shit. <laughs> and they've just thrown a bratwurst, which is, just feels like the most German, the most German thing ever to put on your poo plate. Oh my they God. just got this bratwurst just chilling on the plate as an example of how it works. Oh, that's gross. It does just it is sit there. It's fucking gross. Oh, that that's is disgusting. Fucking <laughs> awful. <laughs> That is awful. Oh my god! <laughs> I, I hate I that actually it's a can't. Look, I actually can't look at it. It's so much worse than the bratwurst. Oh the my bratwurst god! This is making me feel sick. Oh my god! I just <laughs> opened up the Dutch toilet. Don't open up the Dutch the toilet. Dutch toilet. Dutch toilet. It's the same thing, but they've used like chili con carne or something. This video. This video. <laughs> oh my god! It's so bad. Um. Okay, fast forward to like one minute fifty eight. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my fucking god! It's so red. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! That is fucking actually horrific. That is, do not look this up. That is. I mean, it flushes great. It cleans it. I oh, know it's all stained actually from it. That is fucking oh, rancid. Oh my Just, god! I feel like I'm gonna be sick. I, oh my I god! Need, I should need to stop the podcast. I think that has to be the end. <laughs> that has I don't to be know, the I end. I feel like we can't go any further. That's, That's it. horrible. That is that is fucking oh. grim. I feel sick. Oh. I feel. <laughs> fucking oh sick. my god sort life-saving though life-saving it. though life-saving yes, important my life right now. life-saving fucking but fucking disgusting oh. wow check your Let's... poop everyone keep safe out there i i can't do any more that is it i'm out yeah i need to go <laughs> jesus that have a lie Christ. down i need to have a lie oh, down oh man well um what a fucking podcast um <laughs> I uh, do stick around. There's going to be some funny little bits of trailers um, of us recording some bits yeah. for you to listen to and enjoy. I hope you enjoyed this one. I Random didn't. questions. Yeah. How do we feel about it? Oh, I hated I, it. I like it. I uh, think that we should maybe do one <laughs> random episode a week now. Nice. See, I, I, I like the spontaneous, spontaneity. How do you say that word? <laughs> spontaneity. Spontaneousness. That one. Yeah, I like it. Spontaneity. Yeah. That one. I like that of it. I just, I think it's just that last, the thing is that last question was probably actually the best formed question the best. out of we, all of them. It just made me feel really ill. Do we think that toilets were designed to 
No, that, that we, no, we don't have our it. It's a poop shelf, it. I'm Rams. Out. I'm out. <laughs> no, but was it the same with Chad sitting in Maine? No, that was the question. it's a poop no. shelf. That's okay, just what okay. it is. <laughs> Let it go, Rams. Let, Let it go. Let it go, Rams. But we also okay. did have an, ad- uh, an advertisement for Triforce. And um, what was, I don't know. Just Some more just, we're just Some doing shit. Just good shit, you know, yeah. good shit. Yeah. Let us know if you yeah. want more of these. It does, you know, it does help people understand the quality of some of the questions that we do receive. <laughs> um, those were quite good, considering what we did. Got. Honestly, we got lucky. Um, we, we actually did Except get for the last question, we got lucky. Well, to be fair, we made the last question worse for ourselves. Yeah, we didn't have to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Just keep sending that. questions because um, they'll yeah. add to our list, which would mm-hmm. be great. Um, and yep. Be sure to uh, leave a little review, leave a little likey, mm-hmm. leave, a little, yeah. leave a little smiley face. Little stars, um, five stars. And maybe check out the Patreon. We may have put some stuff up there. Maybe some bits to look at. Um, maybe not. Enjoy yeah. the podcast supported there. Pro- probably not, but maybe by <laughs> yeah, the time you listen to this, it will be up and running. Who knows? Yeah. I mean, it's only in a few days, but yeah. Patreon.com slash zero degrees. Nice. A- nice. Actual URL. Actual URL. Actual URL. I like that. We're so happy about a URL. Yeah, little URL. we got a URL, guys. Like, yeah, come on. Um, yeah, enjoy the trailers. These are going to be silly. Um, we'll yeah, it's, next it, time. it's very weird. <laughs> enjoy. Bye. 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 Alright, Rash, do you wanna just let's just like start firing them. I think just like we'll just we'll okay, just fire wait, a load and then just something okay. good will come out. Okay, I yeah. <sighs> Fuck, this is weird. Okay, fine, I'll do it. <clears throat> hey guys, it's Ravs here from the Zero Degrees Podcast, and we're here to interrupt your podcast to tell you about our podcast, Zero Degrees. You can go listen to it now. You can submit your questions. We'll answer them badly. Um, you know, me, Harry, and Lydia. You know, we'll they'll help you out. Come on over. <laughs> so unconvinced. <laughs> You're so unconvinced that this podcast you, even fucking exists. Yeah. You're not selling it. Is it is real. Ravs. Please come and listen. <laughs> this podcast is real. Yeah. Ravs doesn't sound like he's not sold it. It's not. You yeah. just sell it. It's over. We ran out of time. Oh no. Out of time. Bye. Um. All right. Shall I do one? All right. Mm-hmm. Hey, I'm Harry from Zero Degrees, and I'm interrupting your podcast to talk about my podcast, because it's better, it's the best, it's Zero Degrees. It's a wonderful podcast hosted by me, Lydia, and Rouse, where we answer your terrible, awful, stupid questions. Um, So come on over, you're an idiot, we hate you, come join us. Very good, very good, very nice. Let's just go, I think just go go quick, we just go around and just keep throwing them out. They don't have to be perfect, I think we just make, just do, make do a load a of random, random ones. random couple ones, yeah. I'm just trying to, what's like the weirdest questions, oh, okay, right, yeah, okay. Furries coming on pizza. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Hello there, my name, oh, what was that? Hello there, okay, um, right, we'll do it again, all right. Hello, I'm Lydia from Zero Degrees, and I'm interrupting your podcast to tell you about my podcast, Zero Degrees, which I do with Harry and Ravs, where we answer your awful questions, such as furries coming on pizza and shitting yourself. Uh, yeah, I'm so sorry. Come check us out, and uh, thank you. <laughs> sorry. sorry. That's okay. great. Great. <laughs> sorry. I can do a better one than that. <laughs> All right. Keep, no, keep good. firing good. them. Good. All right. Yeah. Um, Hey guys, it's Ravs from Zero Degrees here, and I'm here to tell you all about our podcast, Zero Degrees. I know you're trying to listen to your podcast, but frankly, ours is better and way more gross. We answer questions such as, uh, where do I go with my two furry boyfriends? Uh, What do I do about the shit that got under my foreskin? You know, just things like that. So you should come check out our podcast, and maybe you've got some questions you need answered. Send them our way. Come on, join. Bye bye. Nice. Nice. Um. Hey, you, podcast listener. We want you. My name's Harry from Zero Degrees. Come on down to our podcast. It's far better than this podcast. Probably Triforce. Uh, we're answering the funniest <laughs> questions, the silliest questions, the wackiest questions. We got it all. We got it all. Come on down. Zero Degrees. <laughs> um. Hello there, it's Lydia from Zero Degrees. <laughs> Come check out our podcast. I do it with Harry and Ravs. Uh, we don't have any degrees. We're very, very stupid. And we answer your horrific, disgusting, vile questions. So if you're sick of listening to whatever this crap is, uh, come check out our one instead. Cheers. <laughs> I like I like that it's just getting more and more aggressive towards whatever <laughs> podcast they're listening to. Should we do one where we pretend we're all really hungover? 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't need to yeah. pretend I'm right now, Ross. There's no acting I'm required. I'm belt. Okay. Ah, uh, hey guys, it's me, Ravs from Zero Degrees, and I'm joined by Harry and Lydia. We're all very hungover, aren't we? Um, yeah. It's grim. It's grim. <laughs> Wait, this isn't an advert. This is That's the start it. of the podcast. We're all, all introducing ourselves. We're all introducing. Okay, we'll have to do this again. <laughs> Listen to our podcast. Why, why are you introducing us? That's great. That's a good one. That's, That's the it best. Be good to have. That's like, the best one. All three of us. That's the best it, one. You know? <laughs> I thought we were doing three separate ones. Okay. <laughs> I love I love the different All right, this one's doing it all together. I'm with you now, Rabs. I'm great, with you now. Okay. Oh, hey, guys. It's Rabs from Zero Degrees here, and all three of us are really hungover. I'm joined by Harry and Lydia, and we're here to tell you about our podcast. Harry, Lydia, help. No. <laughs> It's the best podcast. It's better than whatever shit you're listening to right now. This is, honestly, Thank you're you. probably bored. Bye. You're on the bus. Come listen to our podcast. It's way funnier. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, mm. Oh, what else, do we, what else do we do? Should we do like yeah. a proper zany, like zingy one? A high energy one? Hey, how's it going? I'm Harry from Zero Degrees, and you need to listen to our podcast. Why? It's so funny. It's the best. <laughs> 10 out of 10 is my favorite podcast. <laughs> I love this podcast! <laughs> Example. <laughs> Wait, should we do that? Yeah. And like me and Ravs shout out the yeah. reviews. Yeah. It's like the It's like um <laughs> it's like you know like this is a very strong message. <laughs> that meme. Yeah. <laughs> and then you could be like, and we're we're here to answer your questions, and then me and Lydia could be like why did my cat die when one war? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, yeah, right, I'll, I'll ask yeah, you, yeah, like, yeah. and yeah, here are some okay. testimonies, and then, like, and here are some example questions. Okay, ready? Hi, I'm Harry here from Zero Degrees, the amazing podcast where we answer They're your hilarious questions. my favorite podcast, the Vegas podcast! Wait, wait, okay, we should okay. plan this. Ravs, okay, you talk I'll first, talk. and then I'll okay, talk. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's start, let's, start again, let's start again. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Are we okay again. Okay. Hey, Harry here from Zero Degrees, the greatest podcast with the most hilarious questions. Listen to some of our testimonials. I love the podcast. It makes me feel very warm in my heart. I love this podcast. I love it. It saved my life. Look at them. They're having a great time. You could be having a great time too. Come on down to Zero Degrees. It's the best. Example questions, Harry. We'll do it as the next okay, one. Okay. Do it as the next one. <laughs> okay, all okay, right. We'll go, we'll go again. Ready? <laughs> hey, I'm Harry from Zero Degrees here. Come on down to listen to our hilarious podcast. Not like this boring podcast. You just do horrible boring. We've got funny questions like this. My grandfather ambulance. What do I do? Why my cum smell like petrol? Why does her cum smell like petrol? Find out now at Zero Degrees. <laughs> 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 Why? Why? Come on, I I, I I love that you got like a toddler shout. Do you know what I mean? Like, just like mouth is open when I'm talking. <laughs> um, do we need oh, anything gosh. else? I think is that enough? If you say Raz, my grandfather. <laughs> 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 my grandfather. No. <laughs> I think oh, that we've probably God. given Sam enough to work with. Yeah, that's quality yeah. content right okay, there. Okay, we'll include this at the end of a podcast. Yeah. The podcast yeah. you just listened to, I hope it was okay, because we're about to record yeah. it. Yeah, this was, the this is yeah, going yeah, the was good. Little bits we had this to do. The, <laughs> this, may describe, this may help you understand the energy that's going into that podcast now. <laughs> <laughs>